Monday, let's start the week correctly with an important lesson on psychology. And as always, guys, we're going to go through our trade from A to Z, going through the analysis, the execution of the trade, entries and exits. And I also want to talk to you about how understanding the behavior of the trader and the investor can give you an edge over the market. And that way you can base your trades on that psychology of other traders and investors. Um, and that surely gives you an edge. And that's what I want to explain to you guys here. That's how we identify patterns in the stock market. So that's the lesson of today. And also we're going to go through the trade together. So let's get right into it guys. And hopefully you get some value. Alright guys, this one is going to be good. So right now we've got a new earnings season. And stocks have started to respect the new earnings earner reports that just came out for these companies and if you're new to my channel earner reports is what moves a stock higher or lower I've taught you some of these things here on this channel news in general is what moves a stock higher or lower and my job and that's the lesson of today guys is to understand how the investor and the trader is going to react to this news when I analyze an earner report which I will do in a few minutes I don't care about how the company is doing financially all I want to know is how the investor and the trader is going to react to this earner report because you've heard a lot of people talk about how history repeats itself in the stock market and history repeats itself in the stock market because the reaction is always going to be the same towards news if it's bringing fear or if it's bringing hype so that's the first step then the second step will be to identify how the trader is going to react during market open and the way they react is basically based on these key levels. Every other trader out there is thinking the same way. And for me to understand that gives me an edge because I can base my strategy, I can base my entries and exits on their behavior. And you'll see that, to, we'll see that together in a few minutes. That's where we're gonna, where we're gonna enter a trade and exit a trade. And our job is to play that short term volatility because that's who causes the short term volatility. Five, 10 minutes, it's the trader, it's the day trader, not the investor. So let's get right into it guys. And hopefully you learn something new here and hopefully I'll show you this, some chat room results by the end. Let's do it. All right guys, so here is the game plan that I just shared with my chat room. Like I said, I do this every morning. And you can see here that I basically said NI on Goose will sell off ahead of earner. The earner report is released tomorrow. So usually investors behavior is to sell before an earner report is released. I mean, if you know this company hasn't been performing consistently well, uh, usually you'll sell your shares and usually these stocks end up dropping such as NIO and Goose. Um, FL which is Foot Locker is also one of those stocks where it released good press, good news because they said to investors that basically we, we have a good, a good quarter profit and sales increase. I mean that's music to the ears to investors. However guys, nothing can shoot up for long and nothing can go down for long. It has to correct itself. So there's two things happening with this stock. Either it's going up this way on market open or it's dropping. And I will identify that by reading price action. However, today I'm not going to be focused on that, even though a lot of the chat room will be. I'm going to be focused on Groupon. Because Groupon, also that's part of the game plan here at the end. Groupon on Friday, it spiked in value by 55% on a good earner report. And like I said, nothing continues upwards without a correction. After every spike comes a pullback. So here, it's already in the red, giving 40 cents. And I'm looking to short Groupon because I believe it will give back some of those gains that it had on Friday. And I want to short this alongside NIO. Okay? Why am I shorting NIO? Well, because I believe... Um, after investors basically maybe at 10 o'clock they'll, they'll start selling or before market closes they'll start selling investors will be as scared of this company and might release a negative report uh, but that's how you basically read an earner report and that's how you identify the psychology but the most important thing is the price action which is something that you're gonna see in a few minutes so let's get right into it guys let's jump right into my broker and let's execute these trades. It's only one trade that I'm gonna make and I'll show you the chat room result by the end. Let's do it. All right guys, so market just opened and I'm watching basically a short position on Groupon here. Now I'm watching the price action and watching what this stock wants to do. There's a lot of volatility on market open because a lot of buyers will end up selling or a lot of shorts will end up selling. But obviously you have to just react 
predicting is not enough, we're also reactive traders. And that's not an indication, there's no indication just yet of entry, and the spread is really big here. So in that case, I have to go even higher. Okay, there's no indication whatsoever just yet. And that's a huge spike. You see that spike? I mean, I was short biased, but then I changed my mind after seeing that spike, because that tells you there's a lot of buyers. Okay, when you see a spike like this, there's a lot of buyers. Now, once it goes above 26, I'm in. Wow. All right. There we go. We're in, guys. Too early. But with this spike, I don't think so. Now, it just, that's the resistance. It just tested it. And a big drop at the resistance, guys. And I even said it on the chat room, that's the resistance. But that's what happens when you have buyers taking uh, money out from a stock. It has to pull back. Nothing can just shoot up without pulling back. Whoa, look at that. 580, crazy. That was quick. 840. Wow. I'm gonna have to get out before 27 because that's where it wants to go, 27. There's another candlestick. Boom, I'm out. What a trade, guys. What a trade. I left money on the table, but look what's gonna happen now. No, it doesn't wanna do that. But there it is, see? There's the drop after these buyers took their profit. My job is to get out before everybody else. So here is the chat room so far. They'll probably see themselves now on, green means profit by the way, I don't share figures on the, that's 2.5K on TRVN, well done. What a trade guys. Literally happened right in front of you. It's only two minutes in. Come on, Cletus. It's a good way to start the Monday. Um, well done. Well done to everybody. Even though I had a prediction, I also had to read the price action. And I went against my prediction. But that's what you're supposed to do, guys, at the end of the day. Predict, then react. Sometimes your predictions don't come to life, so you have to react. Okay, let's have a look at where NIO is. See guys, it started dropping now. So I got out in a good position, but that's what happens guys. After every, I guess, buyers have to take profits eventually, causing the drops to happen. So here's the chat room. I can't sit here for long guys, but um, well done. That's how we read price action. Again, price action is based on behaviors of traders and no matter what you think the, the stock is gonna do, okay, you have to be ready to react by reading price action. And that's, at the end of the day, what makes you a consistent, profitable trader. <sighs> All right, guys, and on that note, I'll see you again for more videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this, got some value watching me trade and reading the price action. It takes time, you know, so especially when, to get to this level, it takes time. Um, being a reactive trader is more important than just being a predictive trader. Because even if your predictions are right, 80% uh, of the time, then the 20% of the time, we also need to minimize it by being able to react to what's happening in front of us. And what happened in front of us after seeing that big spike, you know, that just told you guys that there was more buyers than sellers. So hopefully everybody got to do well today, especially if you're part of the chat room. And if you wanna join, it's in the first link in the comment section or the description, it comes with the course. And on that note, guys, I'll see you again for more videos, just like always. And don't forget to smash that like button, show some appreciation, and follow me on Instagram if you want. Peace.